Howdy. So, I was trying to make myself, uh, I don't know, something active, I guess. I don't know what the fuck. Um, this week. Um, my view was, okay, I'll just do one thing a day, right? You know, that's the kind of advice people give. Just do one thing a day. One thing a day is, like, significantly more active than I can normally be. Uh, I can manage that if the thing a day is going out and whacking some weeds or something. <laughs> uh, but when it's facing these kind of weird elements, yeah, yeah, my best it's usually one a week, and the reality is more like, you know, one every three months. But I can't afford to do that. I had things that had to get done, right? So, the first was a dentist appointment on Monday. And uh, that was less pleasant than one would think. I mean, I was getting a couple of fillings, which I, by my reckoning I shouldn't need. Um, but because, you know, my teeth used to be fine for such a long time, other than those uh, rotting wisdom teeth and the things that f failed me a couple years ago, I figured, well, I'll be all good after I got those fixed. Nah, it looks like I'm just normal teeth now. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, um, before I faced that, I was telling myself, look, you're going you're gonna to get X, Y, Z because you have to work your way up, whatever. And the only way you're going to get there is that way. And so kind of a manic uh, feeling came over me. Manic for me meaning that I can get one thing done a day, I guess. Hey, pretty much, you know. Uh, because the bigger things that I do, I tend to get distracted. Whatever. So... I did that. And unfortunately, uh, my HSA credit card was out of date, and so I couldn't pay my bill while I was there. I'm like, ah, oh, I kind of remember. They, they sent it to me stupid early, like a couple months early, and I tried to activate it, and they wouldn't let me. And then, you know, I spent like a half hour trying to figure this out, called them, waited on hold, uh, thinking maybe they had a lot of people have in the same position. And maybe uh, I've never had a credit card thing like come months early. Usually it comes maybe a week or two early uh, and you can activate it within the time after it gets to you. Like I've never had one come that I tried to activate it and just couldn't. So I assumed that was a mistake. But anyway, I couldn't find it. And looked everywhere it could possibly be. Thought I threw it out. After about an hour, an hour and a half of looking. And this is, you know, because they sent it to me too fucking early. Now they've cost me two hours of my life and a lot of frantic uh, looking. I end, up, uh, I end up finding it. I had stowed it in my work laptop because I figured, well, I would remember to do this. For work, well, yeah, shit, shit hasn't been too easy recently, so. Uh, but I did remember that it might be there after, you know, searching the entire house, basically. Anywhere it could possibly have been, uh, twice over at least. And uh, so that was the first thing I got out of the way. Um, and then I paid the bill the next day, which is what I promised to do. I also paid... Um, so uh, my wife had a had a bill from the oral surgery she had. Uh, well, uh, my intention was to pay that. I called them and didn't have all the information that they needed, like her date of birth, because she's dead and I was paying it for her. And I'm like, I don't know. And I could have gone and looked it up, but uh, they let me do it with what I was having. But then the card wouldn't go through because... It turns out <laughs> that the uh, 
the number on the back was a rare one that if you turned the card one way or the other, it looked like a number either way. And I read them the number that was upside down. And you can probably get me down to like, oh, your security code is like within, and you probably have like a dozen numbers that'll work at this point. <laughs> Uh, but remember, my eyesight's not too good, and I missed an important clue, at least. Uh, but anyway, they ended up waiving the charge because she was dead, uh, which they probably were supposed to do anyway. I'm not sure. But that got me thinking, gee, I'm kind of curious about uh, her records for that, because, you know, if they had found something... It, like if they did, uh, you know, like a biopsy or something on whatever they removed, um, that might give me an interesting clue as to a trigger point, because the difference between the way she was, like, the way she was when she first came back to it, uh, the way she was after the after she recovered from the surgery, and then the way she was, like, for the Latin last week of her life, um, left me with kind of like, huh, I could see that being the right time frame that they got through. So I looked up stuff about that, and that's going to be complicated. I don't, like, because there's no designation in the will, there's no will, uh, it's just a matter of, like, I probably have to get something... I don't know. I, I just don't know. Um, and it, it might be beyond me, especially since there's nothing other than curiosity and trying to assuage my own guilt. And I don't know that if that'll help with anything. Um, but okay, whatever. Uh, so that was the first day, and here, well, no, the first day, the second day after I paid. Uh, I, I, I did those things, but I had another task still available that I had to do, which was mailing off the death certificate to her father, and I did that, and that actually ended up, I didn't want to take much more of a walk or anything, it was a windy day, it was a little chilly, I had to urinate, and I had this stupid bag that doesn't feel good in the wind, um, and also I wasn't wearing, I was wearing short sleeves. So I was like, okay, I'll just go home. And I made myself a martini and listened to music. And then I made myself a couple more martinis. And I was actually feeling pretty good. <laughs> and thinking to myself, you know the way I can get through this? I look again and try to find where I can get liquor. There used to be a place, I think, on Harlow that I could. And it's not terribly close, but it's a walk that is it more appealing than going downtown to get something. I don't mind going downtown. I just don't like going downtown to get anything. And as an alternative, if there was a liquor store, say, in Springfield downtown, um, I could do that. But I looked around and again, geez, the closest one is the downtown liquor. And that's not terribly close. That's 45 minute walk. Uh, so probably would be the Harlow one, maybe even further. And, and Springfield would be too. But again, there's this, do I want to go downtown or somewhere else? And then the others are like way out in the middle of nowhere. And I find that really odd. Like two things that I'm used to there being a liquor store near when I was in Buffalo uh, was near campus, nothing, <laughs> and near uh, the hospital for whatever god awful reason. There was a really fancy liquor store there. In, in, not really a fancy one, but there was a liquor store with fancy alcohol in it. Not that I want fancy alcohol. What I really want is what I had when I was in Phoenix, which is liquor I can get at the supermarket that is really, really good quality and very cheap. <laughs> like, not brand name. They had uh, faux. They, they had store brand stuff um, that was really, really cheap. But the place on Harlow here that I used to go to, if I, I'm pretty sure it's that, because the only one up that way is way past Cal Young. And it's like, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't go that far. Um, I, I don't see it anywhere, and I walked, and I didn't see any sign of it uh, a couple times I've walked down Harlow. Uh, but it's not on Google anymore. Um, but that one had, like, a Southern Comfort knockoff. I'm trying to remember what it was. It was like Southern, I don't know, I don't remember what it was. It was like Southern Hospitality or something. But it was kind of like a really cheaper Southern Comfort knockoff. And I was kind of like, well, that's cool too. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's going to be harder. Like, it took me a while to find uh, a vodka I liked enough. But anyway, so I've been without buying liquor since I've moved to, to Eugene. Um, we went through my cheap brandy. Uh, we went through my other bo bottle of yucky vodka. It was like a flavored vodka that I got for like two. It was like a, a liter, but it was you know two three bucks because Arizona's weird. <laughs> like they're allowed to put liquor on sale at ridiculously low prices, which I know most states are not allowed to do. But um, anyway. I started looking for that today, but that was actually later, um, because I, I, I enjoyed myself so much last night, uh, drinking, listening to music, emoting. Um, so today I did my taxes, which is always a hard task. I mean, you this is about the right date for it to happen, just before the day it's due, and sometimes later because, hey, neat. You can file for extensions. Cool. <laughs> um, it was harder than usual. I don't know what is going on, but I, I had trouble importing stuff. Um, I had trouble finding stuff. Uh, but moreover, like my wife's stuff, I'm not sure I have everything. Uh, there were all kind of issues. And... Then I ran into, again and again, a problem with uh, some investments I have that it was like were recorded twice, but I thought they were because I had two different classes of share or something. It wasn't. It was like the names changed slightly or something. So anyway, it just kept... I'm using TurboTax, and it just... Every time I'd clear through... I'd go through and review the ones that were legitimate. And actually, I'd review them all, get check marks for them all. It would then throw me back and make me review them all again. <laughs> Turned out I just had to delete the excess copies. I didn't know where they were coming from, what was up. But like, I was just like, well, I don't understand. I'll just do what it seems to be feeding me. Um, but it made me keep going through the same task again and again and again. So that was kind of obnoxious. I had a hellish time finding information on my HSA. Um, then after I filed, I found that I had gotten it electronically, but I couldn't get it from the bank. I, all I could get was my current uh, total, which is what I slapped in there. I mean, I, I'm slapping random numbers in there. Um, I've been audited before, so it might happen again. Uh, I think, like, Twice out of those audits, they ended up owing me more money than they thought. And once I ended up owing money and therefore had to pay some interest and a fine and whatnot. But it's just sort of a whatever. I don't care. It's not going to be that big a difference. But anyway, it took me a couple of hours to do my taxes, which I guess isn't that horrible. But given that I'm doing them on the computer and have very, very simple taxes for the most part, you know... Um, I did have to dig up, uh, the one statement she had, and she made less money, maybe like $2,000 less last year than she did the year before. So I kind of wonder if there, I, I know she deal, dealt with more than one person for doing the translations. Maybe she had some others, but they didn't send a form that I could find. So fuck it. If, you know. If the audit washes it out and finds that I owe money, well, that's life. I'm fine with that. <laughs> but, yeah. 
Um, and, it, you know, theoretically, they should have this. It should be recorded under her social security. Um, so it should have gotten flagged, right? you know, it should get flagged right away. It shouldn't be like something that requires a manual audit at all. It's, it's something a friend of mine brought up online a couple of years back, and this is sort of the Donald Trump uh, promise. That one of the things that I really liked that he promised, which was, we're going to put your taxes so you just have to put it on a postcard. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, the government has all the fucking information they need. <laughs> Why do they need me to go hunting down different pieces of paper and record it? Just consolidate it all. Well, the reason they need it is so that tax accountants have a job, you know, <laughs> because... If it was really as simple as it should be, they wouldn't, you know, but whatever. Nothing came of that. Um, maybe there was some simplification. It doesn't feel any simpler to me. But whatever's. Uh, so by this time, I'm feeling kind of aggravated by, uh, by doing, when did I pick up saying whatever's? Uh, by doing the, next I'll be saying hella. <laughs> um, by doing the taxes, I had gotten kind of aggravated, or maybe I should say aggro. Uh, and I felt like, I need to go for a walk. I don't want it to be much of one. So I make some tea. I head out. And as I'm leaving the house, I am just floored with feelings. And it, it was, I walked up to the, to the gardens, because uh, I can smoke if I walk on the road to there. And then by the time I got there, I was in no state. I just cut back down, went a couple of places, went and saw the llamas and shit like that. But, uh, you know, I couldn't, couldn't go for a long walk. And I don't, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with myself. I just... I feel really hit by the emotions, not like, not like tremendously down, not just, I mean, just they're really raw right now. And uh, I don't know why, you know, maybe looking over the information with her name on it and stuff just set, set me into there um, in a way that like, this, the, the task I did yesterday, you know, everything fucking reminds me of her, right? You know, um, it wasn't that, that though, it was something beyond that. And it may just be the aggravation of the taxes and everything. Uh, the plan was tomorrow to deal with, uh, another thing which is to try to deal with uh, her local bank account and get that moved somewhere, somehow, some way. I don't know if I have another thing in me. And the problem with that is I was kind of ramping my way up, right? You know, uh, the two things I did before today were things that... One was the dentist. Now, when I have a dentist appointment... When I have an appointment to do anything, I am almost invariably going to do it. You know, like I get a reminder the day before, or in this case on Friday, and it's like, yep, I'm going to be there. Even though I'm having doubts about the whole thing, I'm like, yep, going to be there. And what are the doubts? Well, the doubts are, look, I'd rather fucking be dead. And, you know, if somehow I can manage to not be and to not have to deal with all this shit, then... Why do I need to take care of my teeth, you know? <laughs> Why do I need to do any of this shit? Uh, obviously, a couple of things, the sink and the dryer. <sighs> you know, if I'm rational and figure out, well, you know, no matter what, I'm not going to kill myself until my parents are both dead, or at least my dad, you know? <laughs> and if that's the case, well... There's no sign that that's gonna, that's gonna change anytime real soon. 
so I've got a couple of years or whatever. I mean, he's getting up there in age. <sighs> yeah. Um, but, so when I think about that rationally, I'm like, yeah, you know, I don't want to go through something worse with my teeth so fine. I went and did that. But again, that's the kind of thing that it just happens. No matter what, it happens. Uh, if I hadn't made the appointment, I wouldn't. And I'll go in for the fucking cleaning, too, that I've got in a few months. Um, but I won't schedule another one for this year. I, uh, my insurance pays for two a year, but they, they're trying to get me to do, like, every three months or something. And I'm just not going to do that. I don't think I'm going to last that long. Oh. I mean, I'll last three months. I don't think I'm going to last long enough that that is a beneficial thing to do. Uh, I hope. I hope. But, um, taxes, you know, well, delivering the, the mailing the death certificate, look, I, it's something had to be done. It's got like a June delay. Her, her dad is going to Portugal in June, I think, July, I don't know what. It takes a while for the mail to get there. Had to get that sent out. Taxes had to get done. Not today, but it had to get done. Uh, so that's kind of, and, and tax, all of these are things that are not that big a problem for me. Like I said, with the appointment, I've gotten used to that. That is something that just happens. Uh, with mailing something, that's a walk to the post office, it's not that far, it's a 25 minute walk uh, down the hill, and then 25 minutes back up, but it's something that like, yeah sure I might have delayed it in uh, other times, but okay, it's getting me towards there. Taxes, it's something at least I've done before and dealt with. It's not like you know, I, I, I'm dealing with a computer software that I'm used to. I'm dealing with processes that I'm mostly used to. Good enough. Uh, tomorrow's is significantly harder. But here's the thing. I cannot do anything on Friday. Friday I'm prepping to go dancing. Obviously I can't get anything done over the weekend. And then that means next week is where the hard stuff starts. Uh, if I don't deal with the bank. But all of this shit, including the bank, can just be put off. And I, I just don't know which way I'm going. Um, I don't know. I've gotten a lot done for me in a week. Like I said, I usually do at most one thing a week. <laughs> but, but, God. Um, yeah. Maybe tomorrow, I, I mean, on my walk, I was considering, well, tomorrow maybe I can take care of the bank thing and grab the liquor, uh, because that way I have sort of my reward for doing shit. It kind of feels like I am going to have to become, uh, I don't know, I'm just going to have to start drinking harder in order to, like, cope with in order to be happy and it's not like i was happy without drinking anyway drinking makes me happier you know <laughs> not in I, I i don't do it in the in a sense out of habit i do it in the ah oh, it's a pretty day i'd like to sit out on the porch and have a couple of have a couple of drinks and listen to music uh, i might order cigars too I've weaned myself off them because I can't get alcohol. <laughs> because they just don't work for me without. And, uh, yeah. Um, but. So that's why vodka is my friend. It might be the thing that keeps me living. <laughs> uh, simply because, I mean... I can't, I can't do um, drowning my existence the way I was before she killed herself. 
Um, I don't want to do that. It was part of the compromise, essentially. Uh, and I don't see anything else. You know, the gaming is part of that. that that's a sort of somewhere in between. It's not quite drowning myself, but it's also not... I'm not happy doing it, you know. It's it's okay enough. It's like work. It's like playing mindless video games. It's better than either of those things, but it's also not enough. And I don't know. I mean, you know, when I was in Phoenix, I was doing gaming and drinking, so not at the same time. But I would like say, okay, today I'm just going to sit out on the porch and enjoy myself. And, and I mean, you know, it's not, it's not a situation where I'm going to be constantly drunk or anything. It's just like somehow I let that get away from me and I miss it. And it's part of the reason I have a porch and maybe it'll help. Because vodka is my new best friend. <laughs> anyway, uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the fuck, I don't know, yeah, I just don't know what the fuck, ciao.